Hello everyone! Welcome to my FAQ number 51! And thank you so much for watching my FAQ 50 last week! And uh... It was a great FAQ, wasn't it? It's like the best I've ever made. But uh, it will only go downhill from there. And uh, I know you guys are like gonna be like, ah, this one is not as good as FAQ 50. That was like the pinnacle of your YouTube career. <sighs> I'm trying my best, okay? I don't know if you've been uh, paying attention this week, but I released a bunch of new beautiful ass guitars that looks like this. Shit, look. Oh, what is this? Huh? Oh shit, it's red. F okay, what's this? Oh, what? Oh, oh, you like brown? Well, look at this. This is f***ing yellow. Look at that bullshit. I thought we needed a little bit of color in the line of solar guitars. There's been a lot of black and blue and black and a little white. But, you know, I, it, it's 80s. It's fine, I was born in the 80s. Yeah, it's... Oh, ah, I love this color. Look at it. Look at it. English, please. Oh, no. Okay, first question. Shit. Uh, get to the point, Ola. How do Ola, have you ever thought about reading out the fans' name from FAQ questions? Would definitely make the fans happier. Christian Milan. Oh, okay, I'll start from now on then. Danny K. Hi Ola. How many takes do you need for a cover video? Are you really playing live or do you pre-record the audio and then just do the video? I am also doing some cover videos of songs I like and I find it really hard to nail everything in one take. That's a great question, and the way that I do it is that I basically practice a lot before I actually record the video song. So I already have a video talking about this, but it's only for YouTube members, so fuck you. No, don't fuck you. Uh, but basically the procedure that I do is that I, I record when I have two guitars, like a left and a right pan guitar. I record the right hand guitar or right pan guitar first, and uh, I record that you know, doing takes and, you know, stop, record, stop, just to, you know, get it done. And then for the actual video track guitar, which I usually pan to the left, I actually record myself when doing the video. So what you're seeing in the video is what I'm actually playing. So maybe I have to do like 5, 10, 150 takes before I get it right. And then I just take that take and that's what you actually see in the video and uh, I just think it's a lot more honest that way and uh, you know even now like if there's a mistake in there I just like oh what the hell I make mistakes all the time let's just leave the mistakes in there and you know that's just, just how it is you know I'm not a perfect guitar player uh, it's my cover and uh, I'm just having fun you know so that's how I do it I think it's the most honest way of doing it and it's the most honest for my viewers as well so you're actually seeing what's happening on the screen does that make sense oh did i mention this guitar it's super lovely color it's trance hi ola can you show us all the festival badges you have played at do you think i actually save all those i might have a couple left let's just go see i guess i have maybe one or two i don't know yeah i might have saved a couple no i actually saved all of them i guess What's in there? Oh, that was that one says Bouguer on it. Why is that? What is that? Shit, there's a lot of them in there. Okay, let's see. What's this? Six Feet Under European Summer Tour. Uh, what's this? Haunted Backstage. Walking the Haunted Insomnium. This is a cool one. This is nice. I think I designed this one. Triple A. That's me. Very important person. And uh, what else is there? Meshuggah and the Haunted. UK tour, <laughs> supporting Arch Enemy, Europe, that was a great tour, thank you so much. At the gates in the Haunted, uh, there's a lot of it here, it's, it's uh, yeah. So basically, when I remember to save the passes for different tours, I just save them. I guess there's a, there's a good 100 in here. <laughs> so there you go, I actually save them. I'm uh, such a f dork that I save my own uh, backstage passes and you know, all that shit. VIP Meshuga. Huh? That's me. See ya. I hate that band, by the way. It can suck. 
Carlos Chacon, seriously, I still don't get why you decided to become a clown. I'm about five unfunny burps to unsubscribe. Cheers from Chihuahua, though. Uh, that almost sounded like a question. See ya. Hola, are you making it to LA for NAM 2019? You done it now, Carlos. You unleashed a burpin. <laughs> now it's unstoppable. I cannot do anything. Damn it, why do I always have to do this? Every video. It's not funny. I am going to NAM. Shit. Awesome. I'm actually going there. It's gonna be great. And uh, I'm not gonna have a booth there, though. But I'm going there. And you'll be able to see solo guitars somewhere. And uh, But I'm gonna run around there, be an awesome guy. You know, I'm an awesome guy. Such an awesome guy. Funny, too. Uh, burps. I'm gonna practice my burps until then. But yeah, I'm going to Nam. I'm gonna see you there, okay? I missed out on the last two. So I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Never bought your music. Never bought merch. Adblock on. Stolen laptop. Neighbor's Wi-Fi. Free entertainment. Try hard. Thank you, Renny, for uh, showing that you're such an asshole. I appreciate it. Uh, but there is actually one thing now that you cannot freeload of and that's my YouTube membership thing the latest greatest thing in the universe where uh, you can uh, subscribe uh, wh what's it called you no, you can uh, uh, sign up as a member and uh, you can get even more videos from me I've already done like how to play videos of Pantera's underground in America like how to play the actual song and how I mixed it and I've also done production tutorials as well and uh, it's just it's just you can download shit audio files and it's like it's the best membership YouTube thing ever and uh, you cannot freeload out of that because you have to pay so there you go see you and I got to plug myself which is great thank you so much for your question what do you think about SDBM thanks in advance my guy from old guy 2k okay SDBM what is that urban dictionary okay SDBM suicidal depressive black metal Subgenre of black metal, which with its origins in early Bursum and Darkthrone, has the fussy guitars and deliberately low production values of many other underground black metal bands combined with the suicidal lyrics and mid tempo songs. It doesn't sound like it's happy music. Uh, I think Sort Sin from Denmark is an underrated pioneer. Okay, can I listen to that? Second definition SDBM Small Dick, Big Mouth. <laughs> okay, damn. Craig has a SDBM. Hashtag dick mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm kind of happy I made this search on Google. Great, great question. Regarding genre, I have no idea what it sounds like. Let's listen. I, I thought that sounded awesome. That did not sound like deliberately low production value, to be honest. Okay, I guess I like SDBM, which stands for Small Dick, Big Mouth. Hey Ola, I bought the Katana Mini because of your reviews and I'm very happy with it. However, which settings do you use? Channel and equalizer, mostly good to get a fat melt tone. Okay, let's see. I, I don't remember. It was so long ago. I don't even know if there's batteries in this one. Is it supposed to light up? Hello. Yeah, I haven't used this in a while. I was supposed to show you a really, really good metal setting, but you know, you know uh, you're supposed to... Oh yeah, you can run this with power. Oh no, I don't have the power. I don't have the power. Oh, this is already like the most stupid FAQ ever. I will never top number 50. A lot of you have already left and like, oh, f Ola, you're... You're getting worse, man. Your videos are getting suckier for the, every minute that goes and passes. Oh, what the fuck? Where? So, what did I do? Oh, Katana Mini, shit. There it is. Okay, so obviously uh, I'm not using my ass today. I'm using this. Okay, let's set up a really good fat metal tone and I'll tell you how to do it. So start with having a brown. Take brown. Bass metal, it's 12 somewhere, I don't know. And then you take boost. 
that took like two seconds. I just took the boost and just put it there. Nine o'clock. It's good. But if you want a, another type of boost, you can press this little boost and it changes color. And depending on the color, means different boost. Bass mill treble, can you see this? Probably not, but it's like 12, 1 o'clock on bass, 12 at mill, 12 at treble, uh, boost at uh, 9 o'clock, and uh, that's it. That's how I work. See, such a pro. Oh, oh and I got to plug my guitars again. Great, thank you for the question, buddy. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, so, so that, here's that arrogant Ola that, that my wife was talking about. Shit. Ja Jack Collins, hey Ola, I'm sure you've already probably answered this, but what's your opinion on headless models and would solar guitars ever consider doing one? I'm a fan of some headless guitars, like the Strandberg guitars. I like them because they look different, but it's not my type of different. You know, I I think a guitar should have a headstock. It's, you know, it's the look of it. I mean, wouldn't this look weird if it didn't have a badass reversed headstock like this? Just my opinion, sorry. I'm really answering questions like an asshole in this FAQ, I'm sorry. Hey Ola Green's Guatemala, your gear is amazing. Hey, I need create one clinic guitar in my country. See you later, man. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing. Hi Ola Howard. <laughs> Hi Ola Howard, much guitars you have right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Stu Art 320. I have... Um, I have a couple of guitars. I have a bunch in my my uh, closet over there. Usually my U.S. guitars and my like my uh, Ibanez Steve I guitar and my Washburn uh, Free SD guitar. But then I also have like a, a palette of uh, of my regular guitars. So right now I'm just gonna film this. There's a bunch of them all. There. Oh, there's a JPM over there as well. But I have uh, you know guitars for me right. What's this? Someone died in here? So you know what? I, I have a lot of guitars that comes and goes because I have to take pictures of them in my home. I have to record videos of them and then I send them back to uh, the warehouse. So I have a lot of guitars that just, you know, goes on a loop in and out. And uh, it's, uh, it's a nice problem to have, but I guess that's one of the perks of having your own guitar brand. It, it's nice because I get to play new guitars all the time which I, uh, I, 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 I do not mind to do that. Great video, Ola. Awesome belching, as this is what we expect. You could actually use one in a song. They were so good. Thank you for taking the time. Where can I buy... Where can I go buy a couple autographed CDs? Please advise, fella. Rock on. You can get uh, autographed CDs from fearedband.com. Write in the comment section that you want it to be signed, and I'll sign it for you, okay? No problem at all. Now, if you're interested in getting t-shirts, I've actually removed that part from the website and I opened up my Spreadshirt shop again. So all the sizes are available. It's just a lot easier. I don't have to keep stock over t-shirts. So it's just a lot easier. You can get all these t-shirts from Spreadshirt right now in all different sizes and colors. So uh, there you go. Go check it out somewhere. I don't care. I don't need the money, no. When you wrote the chorus part for Preachers of Death, how did you go figure out the plucking part that's played over the main riff? Did you simply hear the melody in your head and transfer it to the guitar, or are you using a specific approach when writing stuff like that? So when I write stuff like that, oh, so look at this, how cute, oh, it got stuck on the f***ing guitar. Oh, it fell in the trash can, that's too bad. Okay, I, I need to get a grip with my attitude here. I wrote the main riff first, the... So just to add a little flavor, I like to add something eerie and just having a clean guitar like that is really helping the song out. I think it's the way they're right, I just try out different, you know, I just go and... <laughs> Maybe not that weird, but you know, I just uh, work around the chords that I'm in, like... 
if you're having problems finding stuff to play, you can always revert to what chord's being played underneath. So, if, if this is the, the first chord, you always have the... and the... and the, so you can always work around that. So that's kind of like, if you have a chord underneath, you can always work from that chord and find something that will fit the song, I think. So there you go. Oh, and that was the last question. Thank you so much for joining in on my FAQ 51. I know it's uh, it's not a even number, but it's still, I'm trying my best here to make it a little bit enjoyable at least. It's it's just not my day. I, I it's, uh, it's not going well. Okay, let, let's just scream into uh, this uh, DB meter for a while and, until you leave, okay? What? Oh, Swedish word! Like, shit, I forgot. Okay, Swedish word of the day. Fika. Even the Swedish word of the day is a disappointment today. Anyway, fika is what Swedes do when we just get together uh, and have coffee, basically, together. It's a pastime thing that we do. Just grab a coffee. Have a little sweet maybe together and just talk about life. If someone's com coming over to uh, hang, I just say, okay, let's fika. So we have a coffee, we start talking, and then we go down to business, okay? That sounded a little bit weird, but there you go, sweet word. Okay, thank you so much for watching. This has been an incredibly weak <laughs> FAQ video, but I still love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.